Hey guys, good morning. It's Tony. Um, I wanted to make a quick TA video on Bitcoin because I haven't really talked about crypto since the last RIP video that I made. And, you know, before that, we basically dropped all the way down to, to 33K. Um, and, and I'm a little, um, how would you say this? Uh, bearish for us to go back uh, to 33K, possibly 31K. Um, right now, I, I'm, I'm expecting hopefully another push to the upside. Um, if if this next hour push on the hourly for the bullish side, if this actually manages to go past relative highs of 37,516, then I think we're on a really good trajectory of, 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 of moving to the upside. Again, keep, keep in mind, I am short right now, right? I am actually short right now on Bitcoin. Um, but I want to get stopped out. Um, I want to, I want to get stopped out. I think I'm sure my stop loss is somewhere like around 37, 7, 7, 7, something like that. 37, 7, 7, 7. I want to get stopped out because if we do break this relative high of 37, 5, 1, 6, um, with this, with this perfect, essentially this perfect buy-in entry, right? Um, the last two times that we actually created this was here, right? We ran from... We ran for about 1500 bucks same thing here 1500 bucks so like right highs of like right like there yeah so both times around a little bit under 1600 so i can kind of once we actually close on the bull side um five hours i mean we'll do five hours too i can maybe expect another run like this 15 let's go 15 30 right on the low end so if we do end up um, running it out perfectly, right? Like this bullish trigger, right? Like what happened here, right? Stoke at lows, stoke at lows. And then you have that little red bubble, little red bubble. And again, little red bubble up there. If this actually happens, then obviously it looks like there is a chance that we might break relative highs. And I'm still, and I mean, this would make it sort of short term bullish, right? But right now... I'm bearish. Uh, the four hour officially closed on the bear side and it's dropping again right now. Uh, the daily is starting to lose traction. So, I mean, I would not be surprised. You know, the daily took us to highs of, you know, what is it? 30, almost 39K. But it didn't actually, you know, I needed, we needed it to go above 44K, 44,366, roughly around there, right? Like your price actually went on the daily, you know, from let's see where we are from here from here all the way up and actually you know closed above these highs right like, like it went up somewhere around here and broke this relative high that i could expect it to maybe drop back down to like you know somewhere around this range to test trend and then shoot up to 48k but you know it didn't it didn't even do that right um it's it's way under relative high so, I mean, as of right now, it's looking like it's it's doing the exact same thing as it is before, right? The same exact pattern from before, right? It goes up a little bit, creates a, a strong bearish candle, and then it drops. I think we're actually, I'll give you guys a, a good indication of where I think we are right now in, in this little cycle-ish that's happening. Um, I think we are somewhere around here, right? I think we are like right there, like right here. There you go, right there. You know, we're probably somewhere, somewhere around here, this range right there, somewhere around there. And then again here, yeah, I, th I think we're somewhere around like here, right? So, I mean, just from that, right? I mean, you can see that, that we still have kind of a significant drop that we can still go down, right? I mean, just, just looking at how much this possibly was, you know, quick guess. I'm not even going to go to the wick, right? From here, let's go to like the, let's go to like the mid lows right there. Whoops. Same thing here. Let's see, drawings. We'll go from here. Right, it's mid. Like around this range right here. Like right in the middle. And if we do that same thing again, you know, yeah, it kind of puts us around that same trajectory, right? It puts us around that 30, like, like 29, 31K, like around that level. And it, and it places us right at that strong, strong trend support right there. So, I mean, things aren't looking good, man, to be completely honest. I mean, you've been wanting to close 
a bullish uh, a bullish week for a while now, but it just hasn't closed yet. And until that closes, I'm still bearish on Bitcoin. And and I think right now, you know, unfortunately things do look not very good. <laughs> so you know, I can definitely see us drop uh, further down to like 31k. Um, the big indicator for me, if, if we actually to drop to 31k, is if we beat these two relative highs on the low side, right? If you keep dropping on price and you actually break this range right here, right? Like right there. If you start breaking this range, right? If you drop down and you start breaking this range, we're going to, we're definitely going to 34K. And then I do think we're going to back to like, you know, $31,000, right? So this range needs to hold up like a lot. And if it doesn't, you know, I think we're going, I think we're perfectly set up to drop to around $31,000. I don't want that to happen. But it just looks like the same the same setup all over again. Look at that, right? Even on the hour, you're you're creating a brand new fresh bear candle on the hour, and it's gonna close in 20 minutes. So I don't know what's gonna happen, but you know you already you already closed above, you're already under these relative lows of 36, 33. So more than likely, the next level is probably gonna be somewhere around this range right here at, at like 35, five. I'm, that's what I'm thinking, right? So. You either bounce from here or you go down and bounce from here. But if this breaks, this range breaks, I think we're going down to 34K. More than likely, if, if this range breaks, I think we're headed down to like 31K. But we'll see. I hope that doesn't happen. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.